Welcome back to another Steven Casey video. Today on Road to 70s, Steven gets a new driver. Not clickbait, I'm actually getting this new driver. That was beautiful. Look at that, straight down the center of the fairway. Dang, his wrist release so good on that one. Does anybody see? I was the massive slice, and now I can't hit a slice if you pay me. What happened was, in the middle of the Masters, I couldn't hit my driver straight. So what I did, I took Tig's driver. And as soon as I started hitting it, I was able to, can you explain how I was able to hit it more straight? Because I could come around on it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, could, I could get around on the ball a little more, but Tig is just going to help me walk me through some driver techniques, how to hit it further, how to gain more distance, how to control the driver a little more. Even though he can't really control his driver right now, he knows how to teach other people. That's, that's something you know about good coaches. They can teach other people, but they can't really do it. Just like Steve with hitting his irons, he always hits a slice, and that's what, in his golf tech lesson, you guys saw the coach there, Nick, was trying to get him more around the ball, hitting a draw. That's essentially what we got to do with the driver. We just got to get him coming from the inside, coming from the inside to out swing path with a little bit of an open club face, and he's going to hit a draw every single time. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Yes. Anyways, if you're new, subscribe, money, for subscribe, like always, it's never an option. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. You absolute animals have been leaving the comments, smashing the like button. Let's see if we can't get this video to 5,000 likes. I'm getting a brand new driver. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll do the reveal. I can't tell because I have a tripod where, that, where I'm at, but I'll show you the reveal. We're in this indoor range at Tig's, at Tig's house. He actually owns this whole apartment complex. Yeah, we're just gonna go through some techniques and then we're gonna end it all off with a long drive competition between me, Matt, and Tig. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you my old driver. It was my uh, Callaway Maverick 2020. It's the same driver. I know the people with the manufacturer and everything, but so I'm just gonna hit some drives with this. I did the lesson and I'm still struggling to get the ball to go left with my driver. Everything else I can get a draw, but my driver. So that's basically what's gonna happen in this little lesson from Mr. Tiggy Wiggy. Hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for the sound in the background. This TV will not shut off. I've literally cut every cord in this apartment and it literally will not, it will not turn off. But here is my new driver that I will be getting. So essentially it's the same driver. It's the, sa it's the same jailbreak technology. It's not the Sub-Zero. This is just the Callaway Maverick. And this actually is a better club head for Steve than it is for people who are swinging club faster. But the difference is you can see the length. Okay, mm -hmm. that is the difference. So he's gonna get basically get, so Steve's gonna go with the, the shorter shaft. This is the Addis Punch from UST. This is a three wood shaft, but it's cut down, so it's stiff enough for a driver. It's very stiff, very low spin, so. You wouldn't recommend it, would you? No, I really wouldn't. I mean, Matt You recommended it to me, and then I, yeah. I swing so hard, I broke the club. Yeah. Right, this is, I mean, every, everybody that's ever hit this driver, this shaft, is like, the, it's it's awesome. So I think yeah. it's gonna work out for Steve. So we're just gonna do a couple drills here, gonna even get him hitting a draw, and then uh, we're gonna have a match at some point, and we're gonna see what happens. That is it, we're gonna have a match coming soon. But I'm gonna hit a couple drivers, just a stock driver with my old driver, and then I'm gonna show you really the difference between it. This is my stock driver. I have my, as you saw in my first lesson, the little dot that is still here somehow, right here come across, finger with two on it, right there. Wow, that's huge. Hey, that was a draw. That was a draw. Whoa, that was a draw too. See, that's what I'm dealing with. I cannot control my freaking driver. This thing goes right, then it goes left, and then it cuts back right. Okay, look at this. All right, so you see my bounce. Look at that side spin. So look at the side spin and look at the club path angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, the club path angle is literally perfect for a driver. 2.6 from the inside, but then he has a, a six degree open club face. That right there is what we gotta change. If we change that, it's gonna change the side spin and then it's gonna go from uh, 1300 down to like six or 700. And if that back spin stays the same, he's literally gonna be perfect. So all we gotta do is fix the club face angle and he's gonna be perfect. All right, I'll hit one more drive with this and then we'll switch to my new driver. I just feel like I don't know what it is with the shorter shaft, I can control it much better. Loosen your grip totally. Got it. I, let's let's get rid of this driver. I hate it. I can't control it. We're gonna move into my new driver. New Steven's new driver right here. So there's a height. You see, that's what I'm talking about. That's not spinning as much, but the club face is that was actually not so much club face as it was just a pull. But you see, that see how much more carry and how much more distance I got. Also, the club, club face was 5.8, so 6.7. So. And you see how I'm hitting a draw that's more controlled. This is just a more consistent driver. I, rec take, I recommend this to anybody that's watching the video. And see, does anybody see? I was the massive slice, and now I can't hit a slice if you paid me. Technique. I bet he could. No, I bet I could pay him. Wow. See, that's not spinning as much as it is just a little bit of a pull. So we gotta, if we can get that pull out of there, cause that's... Just out drove himself again on That's a tight draw. 
but it's not in the fairway right now. They're down to 4.7 now. It's just because your aim, but your side's been still concerning how high that is. You're coming from the inside, okay, which is good, but you're holding on to the club face, yeah, and that's why it's creating so much side spin. So you, you basically, this is what you're doing with impact, mm -hmm. which is is good because you're coming from the inside, but you got to work on coming from the inside and releasing it right here. Because when you hold on to it, it's the, that's what's creating all that side spin. Got it. And the hooks. So you got to you got to go from like being here to being here. Okay. Holy yeah, release! That was a perfect release. That was beautiful. Look at that, straight down the center of the fairway, farthest drive he's had all day. That's gonna get close to. That's like 280. That's what happens when you release the club. That's the importance of releasing the club. Look at that. Look at that size spin. 1.9. That's literally perfect. Wow. We got to see that again. See, here's the thing. When I change my swing with this driver, it's so much easier to control. I don't Back know why. Spin is pretty high, but that's, I mean, with this driver, it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. And then side spin, look, 342. Wow. Last one is at 1300. This one's at 342. Look at that club face, 1.9. It started at 6.7, you guys. These two numbers right here are literally numbers that I just wish I could get to with my driver. 0.4 and 1.9. That's so clean. Dang, his Look, wrist released so good on that one. That, that swing looks so good. That's the farthest drive he's had today, I think. That thing was slapper. No, wow. As you can see, wow. 281. Look at that. Wow. Two points, all 2.7s. Two that was insane. So backspin is a little bit high, but. Look at the club path 14 from the from outside in. Like yeah, you came so far. I chopped some wood on that one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey. Hey. Five smash factor on that one, you guys. Kind of pretty good for Steve. He had 1.3 when he had a good one. So. Just, hey, listen. That was really good. He yeah. Pulled it, pulled it a little bit, but it was hit well. Three. 2.6. Uh, look at that. Ball speed's almost 160. That's for my new driver segment. We're just gonna do a nice little lawn drive. See some ball speeds. Get some. Get some quick swings in here. See between the two little guys and the really big guy that does hit it hard. See what we're working with. But. As you know, this is my new driver. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's going in the back. It's gonna take a second for me to get the shaft and stuff, but it is going inside of the back. And I'm never gonna miss another fairway. I just gotta keep working, keep working. With this man behind me, I'll be hitting it 500 yards by the end of the week. All right, for this final segment, we each are gonna be hitting five drives. You, you staying with me? The best two drives out of the group is what you get to choose and compete with. So, these guys are gonna go first, and then I'm gonna go, because I, you know, best always is last. All right. Who wants to go first? Top five drives, picking the top two. No, if you hit five drives, your best two is what you take to the leader sport. All right, Tig's gonna start us off. Let's see what happens. That's not going for Oh my lord. Yeah, that is out there. The second shot is... 340. 340, yeah, okay. Shot, dude, these speeds are insane. Jeez. 313. Oh! Oh my lord, Crankopotamus. That's, that's spinning is insane. That's still 330. What? Alright, that is his final drive. His best drive was 319 and 340. 331 and 340. All right, Sharpie is up next. All right, Matt on his first five. Oh, my Lord. Steven has a chance. That's going to be about 300 yards straight to the left. Hey, so we got this. Yeah. 278. That's not bad. All right, here we go. Matt's second shot. Gosh, some duck hooks. That's still going to be 278. So Matt's not releasing his hands. 
282, so 278 and 282 is his top shot. I have an opportunity. So Tig took the win, Matt came in in second, and Steven came in in first somehow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my new driver. You'll see it in the course shape. In the course shape. We'll be going. Anyways, thanks for Tig for giving me a little lesson. Helped me out. I'm gonna be hitting more fairways coming soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed. It's going to the back. We'll catch you in the next one. See you next Saturday. Peace.